What's up, friends and family? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you guys can tell by the title today, I am doing my uh, my review on the Rocky movies. Uh, I recently just binge watched um, Rocky one through five. Uh, I know there's a sixth one, but uh, I didn't watch it, and it, it didn't look like you know. I could kind of tell. Snakes Rocky and signs with this other rich dude and he leaves 
Rocky in the dust, and then, uh, Rocky's son is all pissed, he's like, Dad, I needed you there for me, and you didn't care, you only cared about Tommy Gunn, and it's just so, it's cliche, uh, it's not like a Rocky movie, it's just, uh, it's, it was gross, I didn't like it, um, <laughs> but, uh, at the end, he, it's, it's also, it's just like, Ending so wacky, uh, him and Tommy Gunn getting a fucking fist fight outside the bar, and they, they count that as the big fight where obviously Rocky's gonna win. And, uh, it's just, I don't know, it wasn't that good. Uh, you know, and especially, uh, this is what I was most heard about coming off of Rocky 4, which, like I said previously, was my favorite of them. It, it goes from boom, and then a couple years they make this next one, and it's just so shitty. Like, the whole, um, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't want you guys to go watch Rocky Five, so I'm just gonna spoil some shit that's important to it. Um, the whole premise of the movie is because, uh, Adrian, Rocky's wife, brother, who was Paulie, who was Rocky, was friends with, uh, he gives all the financial power to some financial advisor, and they go broke. The dude invests in some shit, and flees the country and, and they go broke which is just, that's that would never happen if you're making so much millions of money i get you'd go to a financial advisor but they wouldn't um you would never go broke you you would actually be smart enough to set aside money and um so you know you could free reign with this amount of million dollars but i'm keeping this shit over here in case you fuck up which that's what rocky should have did but hindsight's 2020 and it's only goddamn movie so um yeah so paulie fucks everything up and then he's like oh it's not my fault what well, i didn't do anything i didn't lose the money like you, you did you did um so they're broken and they the, the thing that makes it cringy is that they try to like rocky has a very distinct like bowler's hat and a black trench coat and shit that he wears in the first movie and when he's going through his old stuff, and, cause they, and then they, they move back into his old house that he was in in the first movie, which is, it's just like they were trying so hard to get back to Rocky 1 that it made it bad. And I mean, he, he wears his clothes like, yo, Adrian, what do you think, Adrian? And it's like, it's just not, and then I don't know, I don't, I wouldn't recommend watching that one. I'd recommend watching one through four, but if you're watching all,
Anyways, guys, I appreciate you checking out this video. Uh, leave a like if you're still here. If you're still here, comment. Uh, Rocky Balboa is a banana. Comment that, and uh, I'll give you a shout-out in the next video. Um, anyways, guys, thank you.